Hello and welcome to this first race of Race Department World Series by Renault. My name is Joachim Skalstad and I will be your host during this race. We start this first season at Sears Point in USA. In pole position we can find Lee Ross followed by Remco de Wilt and Magnus Dahlgren. A lot of big expectations for this first race in this league, being a new game, new race and also a bunch of new drivers getting together for the first time. As we go to the grid, we can see Lee Ross go off to a good start and Magnus Dahlgren passing Remco de Wilt in the first possible corner. Good start by Magnus there. Going up the hills toward turn 2, the corner that have caused many many drivers to both go off the track and even spin the cars, both in warm-up and qualification. This time we can see all the drivers in the top positions have gone through perfectly. Lee Ross going first, Magnus Dahlgren second, and Remco de Ville third, and in fourth we have <coughs> Jan Wikström. Let's go back to the start and see that again from another angle. Here we have Eddie Holgren who started at 7th position behind Klaus Axelsson on left and Jeff Brown on right. Going into turn 2 we can see that Axel turned into Jeff causing them both to spin and also catching Andy White in the havoc there. But they were not the only one with trouble on the grid today. Here we have Mike Bishop who are unlucky and drive into the back of Valdes Vincevicius causing a spin on his own car. This caused Mike to get confused and later disqualify because he drove the wrong way. Really unlucky exit of the race there. From the angle of Valdez's car we can see him ramming the uh, back of Marco Biel and then being hit by Mike. Really unlucky. And I believe we have some trouble ahead. Major incident there. Really big. Multiple cars involved. Seeing that from an outside angle, it might look like Marius Navraskas got a bit wide and he might have tapped the wall. Either way, he caused a huge pile up in turn 1. We have to see this from more angles. Here we are on board with the league admin Marco Biel and there we can see Björn Petron hitting the stationary car of Marius Navraskas causing Björn's car to get launched up in the air and land on the car of Marco. That did not look good. As you can see Marius pulling down the hill on the left side there. Here I believe we have the reason for the pileup. Marius did hit the wall causing a chain reaction. Six cars involved in the crash and unfortunately a number of cars had to retire due to this crash. As the leaders go around for lap 1, Lee Ross is still ahead of Magnus Dahlgren, Remco de Wilt and Jan Wikström. Only the 12 first cars went through lap 1 without any damage on the car. That means half of the field have had some sort of trouble and also some of them sadly had to retire.
here we see Lee have got quite a big gap down to Remco and Magnus Dahlgren now. Keep driving like that, Lee, and you will win the entire race. <laughs> Here we have Lee driving up the hills towards turn 2. Big gap down to Remco. And Remco, if you want to catch Lee, you should not be driving in the gravel. Remember, the black stuff is the good stuff. Really lucky there not to hit the wall. And as the race goes on, Lee just keeps expanding the lead down to Remco, Jan and Magnus Dahlgren. And if this co goes on, it might go all the way for Lee here. Looking promising so far. And here we have Jan Wikström. I have not seen much from him other than being behind the other drivers so far. This might mean he has a plan of running a trouble free race. Going careful around the corners with the Remco behind him. At this point, Lee has gotten quite a gap down now. I believe it's yeah, quite a lot of time actually. We can start the clock if we start it there. And we'll wait for Jan to pass on the first cone. He passes there. I believe that's almost 10 seconds. Further into the race, the leaders also have to deal with catching traffic. Here we see Jan Wikström catching Stuart Pickering and almost crashing when passing him. But it went okay this time.
After receiving a penalty for spading in a pit lane, we can now see Lee Ross going in to serve his penalty. But unfortunately something happened and the penalty did not go away. At the moment Lee decided to retire instead of risking a disqualification. A real shame there for the race leader. And this also means that Jan Wikström will go up as race leader. See him passing any moment now. Here he comes. And Lee flashes his lights to say, Here you are. Alex Rinas is one of the drivers who has not seen much from this race. Unfortunately, the first video clip we have from him is when he spun his car going off and all back on the track. Alex is one of those drivers who drive slow and steady and try to go to the finish and he might actually go all the way on this one not many big di difficulties for him so far but he's not the only one who had trouble in the first couple of corners here we have Stuart Pickering going off in the same corner as Alex not as big in slide for him but still he's off the track and loses his position tricky corner there But wait, there is more. Stuart going wide and off into the gravel. I believe Stuart might have getting some trouble with his tires. Maybe getting worn out or temperature too high or something. But after waiting for a couple of drivers passing there, he goes back on the track almost took with him. I believe that was Robert Walker. And here we have Jeff Brown. No bigger issues for uh, him this late in the race. This proves that slow and steady is the correct way to go on this one. The same can be said about Robert Walker. He has been clever and stayed out of trouble at this entire race so far. Keeps going fast around the track, but slow enough not to go off anywhere. But not everyone are that lucky. Here we have Emmanuel Grossin in the blue car and Willemaris Myrvold in the green car. Willemaris got the message that he was in the race really late this week, so his car was not ready and he had almost no practice at all. Luckily he managed to borrow a car from one of the drivers who were not able to race. Unfortunately this was all the luck Willemaris had in this race.
After going wide out of the corner, the rear right tire hit the gravel causing the car to spin and that is a hard hit towards the wall. How he managed to keep the car going after this crash, I don't know. And I'm not sure if I want to know. <laughs> that is a really, really hard crash there by Ulmarius. Luckily he managed to go through and finish the race. And there we have it, the finish of the race. Jan Wikström won the first RDWSR race in R Factor 2. Followed by Jeff Brown in second place. And Alex Rinas in third place. And there we have it, that's the end of the race. And here you have the results of the race and so far the championship positions. First, Jan Wikström, 30 points. Second, Jeff Brown, 26 points. Third, Alex Rinas, 23 points. Emmanuel Grossin, 21 points. Rob Walker, 20 points. Stuart Pickering, 19 points. Ulle Maris Mirval, 18 points. All those drivers within 8 laps and also the only 7 drivers to finish. Going on next race on 28th of April on Mid-Ohio. I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.